Are you dumb? Huh? Do you want to learn about tsunamis and earthquakes? Yes! Well, you've come to the right place. So we know that the Earth has tectonic plates, or jigsaw pieces that make up the Earth's crust. Tectonic plates move around, and when they grind against each other, it creates earthquakes. So in short, when big jigsaw pieces move, this creates earthquake. Wow, truly a work of art, right? Okay, I'll stop. Now there are three types of seismic waves. P waves, S waves, and surface waves. P waves travel through liquids, gases, and solids. Although they slow down big time through liquid, they can still travel through it. The second fastest seismic waves, also known as S waves, can't travel through gases or liquids, but they can go through solid rock. Notice how on the chart the P wave slows down at the liquid and it starts to pick up after it. The S wave completely stops. Surface waves, well, travel along the surface of the earth. If a P wave or an S wave goes to the surface, then they would be surface waves. Surface waves are also the slowest out of the three seismic waves. Seismographs then use that data from earthquakes and then use it to further study the earth's layers. Earthquakes also tie in with tsunamis because they cause them. Remember what I said earlier about tectonic plates dummy? Ah. Well, this is how earthquakes cause tsunamis. When the plates move, the water moves. When there's an earthquake, there's an epicenter and a hypocenter. The hypocenter is the center of the activity for the earthquake. The epicenter is directly above the hypocenter on the surface. Earthquakes start from faults, and there are four main types of them. Normal, reverse, thrust, and strike slip. Normal faults are very abnormal. One side, also known as the hanging wall, slides down the foot wall, which stays in place. Reverse faults occur when the two plates hit each other and one slides up from a lot of pressure. Thrust faults are very similar to reverse faults and often occur under the ocean, which can cause tsunamis. Strike slip faults occur when two plates move past each other in the opposing direction. Did you get all of that, dummy? Yes!